Good day, good people, and thank you for joining me for another video here on the SVG Tubes YouTube channel. I am Phaedra Dion, owner and lead educator at SVG Tubes. So recently, I started thinking about the changing of the seasons because I actually live in a place where the seasons change. And as you all know, we are going from summer into fall. And I discovered that the first day of fall is actually September 22nd. So I started thinking about SVG G's for fall. But we got Thanksgiving coming up. We got Halloween coming up. We got the leaves falling from the trees coming up. So I wanted to start making some designs based on those concepts. So I started thinking about word art. And I have a membership to Creative Fabrica, and they have a tool called a Shape Cloud, which is a word art generator. You can actually use it without a membership, but if you don't have a membership, you can only make five Shape Clouds. If you do have a membership, you can make unlimited Shape Clouds. So since I have a membership, I am going to log in and show you how to use Shape Cloud. So this is the default view of Shape Cloud on Creative Fabrica. And they show you a cloud with five words and they show them repeating. But again, I wanted one about fall. So I went to select your shape and chose nature. And they actually have a maple leaf, which is pretty cool. They have other stuff, but I want to use that maple leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and now that I've chosen the maple leaf, I'm going to click on update changes. So it's going to put those five words in this maple leaf. Another cool thing is that you can select a different font. I'm just going to stick with Pacifico because I actually like it, but you can actually upload your own fonts. And you don't have to just have one color. You can have a schema of colors. So I am going to go here and I am going to change to the vintage Ralph Lauren. Just because I think that is the closest thing to, to fall colors. And so I'll update changes and I'll see the default words in the different colors, which I think is pretty cool. So what I did was I came up with a list of words for my fall design. One of the things I discovered when using Creative Fabrica Shape Cloud is that you can't enter a list of words all at once. They can't be separated by a line. They can't be separated by a space. They can't be separated by commas or semicolons. You have to type them in one by one. So I am going to do that and I will share my list of words with you in the video description in case you want to make a fall word cloud also. I'm going to pause the video while I type all my words in. Okay, so I've entered all my words and I'm going to update changes. And again, I am going to add my list to the video description in case you want to use one, some, or all. And I actually came up with 31 words. And as you can see, they number them. And what it looks like happens is the bigger words are the ones that you put in first. So how you see how I have September and October and I don't see, no, oh, there is November. So what I can do now is I can download this design and it will download it as either a PNG, an SVG, or a PDF, or you can download all of them. I am going to download the SVG so I can have a crisp and clear image and I will put that in my shape cloud folder and I'll just call it fall word art of course you can call yours whatever you like so what do you do if you don't have the paid version of creative fabrica and you can only make five word clouds before they want you to pay there are some other options one that a lot of people know about is wordle.net 
but they are not online anymore. They do have uh, downloads, but a lot of times when you're doing word art, you kind of just want to get online, make it, download it, and use it. So I did find some other sites to where you can make word clouds. This is wordart.com where you can create your own word art. So again, you would put in your list follow the instructions. Then there's wordclouds.com and here are all of the options here. Then you have Jason Davies Word Cloud and he built this are they, he, she, they, I'm not sure what their pronouns are. They built this based on the Wordle.net foundation. And then you have Tag Crowd and Word Cloud and Tag Exto. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Then there's Presenter Media that has a bunch of different stuff. And one of the things they have is a Word Cloud generator and you can create unlimited Word Clouds. And they build this as actually a free word cloud generator. And I actually went through the steps and I was able to open this up and go to customize. And I actually didn't customize anything. I just wanted to see if I could download it without an account. And it did let me download it without an account. And when I opened it, it there was no watermark. So I thought that was pretty cool. Then we have worditout.com and monkey learn which is seems to be pretty basic but that doesn't mean that it's not good so i will link all of these in the description just in case you are not subscribed to creative fabrica and you can only use their shape cloud those five times that's it so if you have questions leave me a comment if you have concerns, leave me a comment. If you have comments, leave me a comment. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to visit the SVG Toots website. And I also have a Facebook group that I would love for you to join and talk SVGs with me and the other members and even request specific tutorials. Just bringing that over so you can see it. So we're a small bunch right now, but you can help us grow, come interact and engage. I post a lot of links to freebies that I find and to the videos that I put on YouTube. And uh, I'd love to meet you and interact with you and answer any of your questions and or create videos on SVGs that you would like to create or even combine because SVG Tooth is not all about making your SVGs from scratch. Sometimes you just want to combine a couple of things and I have videos on that too. So again, thank you for watching and I hope you will visit the website and or join the Facebook group.